Hi girls, so today I'm going to show you how to do this glam look, so let's go. So first things first, I've already washed and moisturized my face and I'm going to go ahead with the Hourglass Mineral Primer Veal so my makeup will stay on all night for my gorgeous friend Emma's wedding. For foundation, I'm using the Rimmel London Lasting Finish Foundation in 300 sand and I'm applying that with my Sigma Round Kabuki Brush. To conceal any dark spots, I'm using my trusty MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NC35 and for my under eyes, I'm using the Rimmel London Wake Me Up anti-fatigue effect and radiant glow concealer. I'm also going to use my blending sponge with my mineral crystal water to give it a nice le naturel blend. To set my face I'm using the Marc Jacobs perfection powder and I'm applying that with the coastal scent flat kabuki brush. Now for contouring, I'm using the NARS Blush and Bronzer Duo in Orgasm and Laguna. I always contour because I feel like I have a really round, flat face. And contouring just gives it a little bit more dimension. So I'm using the Laguna from the kit to contour my cheeks, as well as my jaws and my hairline, nose and eyes. Now moving on to my eyebrows, I'm using the Milani Easy Brow in Dark Brown, which is a little darker to what I'm used to, but I feel for this glam look that will make it look more prominent, as well as making my brows look a bit fuller. And I'm loving the consistency with the spoolie. You can also use that to give it more of a natural look. I am also going through with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Tinted Brow Gel in Brunette just to kind of lighten and soften that up a bit so it blends in more with my hair. I'm using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance to prime my eyes because I'll be wearing a lot of eyeshadow which I want it to be able to stay on all night. So with the eyeshadows, I'm using the bronzy gold set from the Too Faced Return of the Sexy palette and I'm using the brown in the middle which is called Innocent with the MAC 217 blending brush to apply that into the crease of my eyes. Using the MAC 239 eyeshadow brush, I'm going to use the dark brown called Casting Coach and apply that into the crease of my eyes as well, just to give it a deeper crease. Changing brushes back to the MAC 217 blending brush, I'm just going to use that to blend in the eyeshadow. So it blends in with the other colour and blend that towards the end of my eyes. Using the eyeshadow brush again, I'm going to use the dark gold called Ingenu, I think, Ingenu, and I'm going to use that and pat that onto my eyelids. Now using the lighter gold in New in Town, I'm going to use the eyeshadow brush and pat that just on the top of my eyelids in the center, so it gives it a nice pop of color. Now to finish off the look, I'm just going to use the champagne colour in Naive with the MAC 224 Soft Blending Brush to apply that to the front of my eyes just to make my eyes look a little bit brighter. Next is the eyeliner and I'm using my new bestie which is a Kat Von D ink liner in Trooper and I'm just going to use that and create a kind of a bold wing effect. On my eyes. I always find wing eyes a hit or a miss so I always start fairly thin and build my way up until they both kind of match. Moving on to my lashes I'm just curling my teeny weeny lashes and I'm going to be using the Sephora Outrageous Volume Dramatic Volume Mascara and the brush on this is freaking amazing. It's like the biggest one I've seen and I'm just going to apply mascara on my lashes so they will blend in nicely when I wear my falsies. And once I've got the falsies in I'm just going to apply more so it blends in both my false lashes and my teeny weeny real lashes. 
And once that's done, I'm going to go through with my Maybelline Unstoppable Eyeliner and line the bottom of my eyes and blend that in with the MAC 219 pencil brush and I'm also using the Maybelline Lash Stiletto Voluptuous Mascara on my bottom lashes for extra length. And a little proud moment, I've also trained myself not to open my mouth when I apply mascara. <laughs> For a glamorous glow, I'm using the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette to highlight my face. And I'm using the Radiant Light with my Real Techniques Angled Shadow Brush to highlight my nose as well as my brow bone. Using the Coastal Scent Angled Brush, I'm using the Incandescent Light from the palette. And I'm going to use that to highlight my cheeks as well as my forehead and a little under the chin, wherever light will hit my face. Using the dim light, I'm just going to highlight just under my cheeks as well, so my face gets all around glow. Going back to the NARS duo, I'm going to use the Orgasm Blush with the Sigma Large Angled Contour Brush. And last but not least, it's the lips. So I'm using the NYX Deep Red Lip Liner to line my lips to give it a nice full red glamorous lips. And I'm also finishing that off with the Remel London Provoque Lips in Play With Fire, which is a nice deep red. And this gives a nice 16 hour stay so I can have my lips looking nice and luscious all night. And that is it, voila! So if you like this look, please give me a thumbs up and please also make sure you subscribe to watch more. Thanks for watching, bye!